And once again, hello everyone with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand, rest the crew cheek. And the Heat will start us off, although early leads in this series have not meant a heck of a lot. We've seen that on a number of these games, including game five, Jimmy Butler kicks it out to Crowder. Crowder looking to get going. That one in and out. And Jeff, you talked about that in our open, the three-point shooting has really been dismal the last three games for Miami. Well, Crowder in particular started the playoffs off great. Game one of this series was five for nine. Since then, he's been in a death struggle to get one to go down. For the Heat for much of these playoffs. But that three-point shooting has been really rough. And a late whistle, but a foul called. And out of bio, we'll go to the free throw line. As Tice picks up of injury, he's on the floor, so that means he's fine. At the end of the day, didn't play particularly well, owned it, and looks forward to impacting tonight's game. Win if you don't play well. Oh, we've seen that a lot. Where they say, I'm not going to use this as an excuse, and then go on another 15-minute <laughs> explanation of what's hurting. Meanwhile, great play there from out of bio. Duncan Robinson, three-pointer is short. Jalen Brown trying to save it, but he throws right to Butler. Oh, and a pass. And uh, Walker, a little hesitation, pulls back. Marcus Smart, guarded by Drogic. Jalen Brown, catch and shoot. Dragic will bring it the other way. Dragic is at the 20-point mark in four of the five games in this series. Jimmy Butler knocks it. They switched the pick and roll. Miami did as Adebayo gets cut. Four. They became aggressive and began to make plays towards the hoop. Tatum starts 0 for 3. That was a good defensive play from Tice to draw the charge on Adebayo. Picks up his first foul. Butler finds out of bio, gets in the paint, floats it up, rattles around, off the mark. That's good basketball by Jimmy Butler, though. Two teams that combine two for nine, make it two for ten to start. Butler finds Robinson, wide open. And Duncan Robinson is fires. He had that one hot stretch in the first half of game five and cool down afterwards he's also has not been shooting his three as well the heat is trying to get on track from downtown Kemba walker drives tough shot won't jimmy butler's jump shot and tatum who's been averaging 10 rebounds a game throughout the playoffs grabs that one lines up the three both teams are so much better when the ball gets into the paint on the dribble and then they spray it out to the three, like on that particular possession. Outer is now six for his last 35 from three-point range. And he was shooting beautifully early on. Boy, lots of threes and lots of misses. But not they're not attacking on a lot of these. And they're not good threes. The coach indicated a last possession two fouls early and yeah, smart was out of bounds you guys both have talked brad stevens knows they need kemba at his best getting to the rim boston six of their nine shots have been threes well they started one for 12 from the field in game five they're one for nine to start here walker and direct line drive to the cup. That's the type of offense they have to look for. Dragic using the offhand and a travel to us for Miami. Jalen Brown spotting up, knocks down the three. Butler with Tatum in his face and Chip puts them in position to be a different team when he's attacking. Marcus Smart doing nice pass by Walker to Smart for the three. Dangerous pass. Adebayo looking to get it back to Dragic. Dragic finds the big man for a slam. They went two for two against the zone. Miami's back to man to man. Smart again. Eric Spolster will call time. Allen has come into the game. Tyler Hero as well. And it's Cantor and Gordon Hayward come in for Boston. And Crowder ball. And when Igu Iguodala comes in, so does Cantor as Smart lets go. 
Walker guarded by Tyler Hero. Hayward playing in his fourth game since returning from the ankle injury. Smart tries another. Marcus Smart has taken five shots already, all from three. He's hit two of them. And it's interesting, in the two wins they've had, he shot the ball nine and ten times total. Tyler Hero backs up, knocks it down. Game five gets his first bucket here tonight. Walker drives on Iguodala. Good ball moving again. Hayward, plenty of time. Canner, the offensive rebound, and is fouled in those 27 minutes. Heat by three. Crowder looking for Jimmy Butler. Butler against Kemba Walker. Butler backs in, falls away. Not that time. Gordon Hayward off the dribble, dribbles into a double team, and Jalen Brown gets to the rim and finishes. What an accomplishment. 4-1, three straight series. They played exceptionally well. Got a lot to be proud of and tremendous stories all to heat up after that ugly start. Mark calling for the ball, wanted to get it to Canner, but Crowder. So Crowder, the heads up defensive play to help force that turnover. Butler back to Iguodala. Andre Iguodala for three. From the Nuggets, obviously a disappointing way for it to end for them. But they had just, just a great bubble. Hayward knocks down the jump. He's a guy at his best. He's a 50-40-90 guy and certainly much needed. It's a game in each of the last three games. As Cantor flips it up, can't get it to fall, out of bio with a rebound. The numbers with him on the floor, though, have been very positive for the Celtics. When he's on the floor, when he's on the bench, very pro Gordon Hayward, as is usually the case. Iguodala left open. Nice looking three. And yeah, this is the largest lead here in the early going. Jalen Brown answers, and Brown with 10 points here in the first 10 minutes. I'm trying to do this in my head. So Adebayo doesn't get a break for his injury, but Gordon Hayward does? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I'm I'm saying. I'm oh, I got your backpedaling. No, that. no. I'm treating them both as if they're on the floor. Obviously, neither guy is 100%, but I'm not going to give them an out if they're on the floor. That's just an old school mentality. A little burst of speed layup. Missed it. Well, Boston's got to get their defense together right now. Offensively, they're getting good shots. Canner guarded by Duncan Robinson shoots a jumper. You don't see many of those from Canner.